Well, now let's start the show for tonight. And our first uh, guest is David Vaughn. David is the president right now of the O-Scale Central Organization. Uh, and he just had, uh, or they're going to have an election of new officers. Uh, so there'll be a new president taking over in 2025. Uh, but David is here this evening uh, and uh, he's going to tell us about what's going on with O-Scale Central. David, welcome. Thank you, Jim. And thank, thanks to New Tracks for the support that you give to O-Scale, uh, to Rail, uh, as well as the other groups. I know that O-Scalers are infiltrating your organization. Some of them are out uh, and open, and some of them, I think, are concealed. But uh, we do O-Scale uh, Central Online, and I recognize quite a few faces. So so I don't know whether anybody's readying a palace coup or anything, but we have a number of O-Scalers on, uh, on your show, and I know they appreciate it, as do I. Uh, I will put in uh, I got just a couple of things. I'll put in my usual plug. Uh, which is O-Scale Central is involved in a lot of activities uh, and the easiest way to plug into those activities and see how we promote O-Scale to rail and support modelers in the scale is to start with our uh, website, which is pretty easy, oscalecentral.com. And uh, there you'll find a scale-wide product and service guide. You'll find a list of coming O-Scale events. You'll find uh, access to our YouTube channel where the uh, O-Scale uh, Central Online back programs are found. Uh, you'll find an introduction. So if you know anybody who is O-Scale curious, uh, you can get a lot of introductory material off of the website. That's oscalecentral.com. I got three things I wanna cover tonight. The first is to uh, respond to a question that uh, uh, has been surfaced a couple of times, which is sort of what does O-Scale Central do directly to promote O-Scale? Uh, I'm going to give you a good and recent example of that. Uh, second, I just want to flag uh, something that is the tip of a huge iceberg that is coming this way that is going to revolutionize uh, model railroading generally, but nowhere is it going to have more impact than on O-Scale, and that is 3D printing. And finally, I will want to introduce uh, the fellow who is most likely to be the new president of O-Scale Central. Uh, I'm looking for him. He said he was going to try and be on the program. And if he is, I will introduce him and have him say some things. And if, uh, if he it doesn't make it, I will, uh, uh, I will uh, introduce him. Uh, anyway, um, we got good things coming. I have some uh, photos that I would like to share uh, with people. I assume I can do that directly. This is not my, uh, here we go. All right. Uh, we think that railroad prototype modelers are the natural constituency for O-Scale. They've got an enormous thirst for prototype accuracy and detail. They like to do a lot of their own work. Uh, and we have been outreaching to as many uh, railroad prototype modeler meets as we can. The photos that I'm showing you are from the St. Louis RPM uh, earlier this year. And we're trying to develop a standard technique and one that will grab as many people as possible. Uh, so we put on quite a show at the St. Louis RPM. Let me just highlight a couple of things. First, if you wanna get people to stop, put a large screen TV and show train videos. And for us, that was a matter of, uh, uh, showing uh, O-scale two rail train videos. It really generated a lot of traffic. When people get close enough, you can uh, talk to them about the scale. You can show them some of the things that we're doing. You can uh, deal with magazine articles and so on. 
uh, we set this up. Second thing is O-scale two rail trains are impressive. And when they, you see them moving, that tends to bring people uh, in uh, to watch what's happening. This is an eight by 16 foot sectional layout uh, in O scale. Basically think of it as being a four by eight uh, HO scale layout uh, on steroids. Uh, and we actually were able to bring this, set it up, operate it, uh, and uh, it did attract a lot of attention. Third, part of the uh, St. Louis RPM format is to have what they call learning stations. So we had several clinics going on uh, during the show. Uh, we had some marvelous structure building. Uh, we had some show and tell on uh, installing uh, uh, DCC uh, and sound. Uh, and it, it attracted a lot of people, uh, including some some newbies who were not familiar with O-Scale 2 Rail. One of our purposes is to uh, uh, familiarize people with what we think is the hobby's best kept secret. We're also supportive of the O-Scale 2 Rail uh, clubs. This one is the Big Bend Model Railroad Club, and we uh, were able to get their participation. Uh, and quite a few uh, people who uh, are from the club to come and work with us. And this is the team that we put together to operate the layout, to run the clinics, uh, to handle the um, handle the uh, uh, different outreaches that we were doing. We also uh, used a lot of literature, and we encouraged people, O-scale modelers, uh, to uh, bring uh, O-scale models to display. Uh, historically, RPM meets, as you probably know, have been overwhelmingly HO, and we wanted to try and break that. Uh, so uh, we are developing uh, a sort of a best practices, and it's our intent over the course of the next couple of years to do outreach to as many of these RPM meets as we can. The second thing I want to flag is uh, the upcoming revolution uh, that we're going to see in, where is it? Come on. I'm telling you, this whole internet thing is never going to catch on, OK? Uh, a couple of years and everybody will get tired of it and it'll just sort of collapse from its own weight. All right, that's my story. Um, 3D printing basically enables uh, you to do um, uh, models with very high levels of detail uh, that uh, are developed with minimal cooling uh, basically computer programs, uh, minimum uh, constraints on ordering, and minimum inventory. That's going to help everybody, but it is particularly going to help O-Scale because we will benefit from the uh, levels of detail, and we will benefit from not having to deal with expensive tooling and not have to deal with minimum orders and not have to deal with inventory. Now, I'm a nickel plate modeler, and nickel plate was big on Lima, not only during the time it was building steam locomotives, but during the time it uh, marketed diesels. There has never been an O-scale Lima diesel switcher before, although a number of roads had them. And Dylan Lambert of Lambert Locomotive Works has developed one of these using uh, 3D uh, CAD design and 3D printing. This is a mock-up uh, of that uh, switcher. And it is going to be available. Uh, it's, it's getting ready to ship now. And it is going to be the kind of project that is going to be able to be produced at will uh, out of uh, 
the CAD 3D printing area. As I said, 3D printing is going to revolutionize a lot. It already has, and we're just getting started. Uh, but uh, the scale uh, that benefits most from all of this is going to be O scale. So all of the complaints about we don't have the variety that we need uh, and all the dealing with minimum orders and so on is going to go out the window over the course of the next couple of years. So we are really looking forward to that. By the way, this is Lambert Locomotive Works, and you can order them off the internet. The third thing I want to do is to introduce uh, my successor. He's not elected yet, but as uh, many of you know, it's pretty hard to get uh, multiple nominees uh, out of uh, for these small volunteer organizations. Uh, and I have been hitting this for quite a while and I'm ready to step down. And I'm very, I'm delighted uh, that the fellow who is going to take over uh, is Skylar Shippey. I don't know whether Skylar on the call, he was going to try and make it. And I did not see him when I looked around. Uh, I did not see him. Okay. I, I didn't either. Uh, Skylar is the president of the Detroit Model Railroad Club. Uh, he is presently the vice president of O-Scale Central. Uh, he is a nickel plate modeler. Uh, I like to think I handpicked him, but uh, uh, my official story is it was just serendipity. Uh, and he is also the membership uh, director for the Nickel Plate Road Historical and Technical Society. He's a professional engineer, University of Michigan graduate, go blue. Uh, and is, uh, I don't think he has seen his 30th birthday yet, although he is an accomplished modeler. Uh, he reflects the board of directors that we are moving to with a lot more uh, younger, technologically savvy, uh, and energetic officers. Uh, I know that historically, uh, two rail O scale was the place where grumpy old men met, went to live out their hobby. And uh, we love grumpy old men. I am one. Uh, but we also know that, that uh, you know, youth and high tech and modern uh, uh, prototype are all things that we need if we're going to have the hobby endure long term. And I'm delighted that Skylar is going to be uh, taking over. That's my report, Jim. Uh, if anybody's got any questions and you have time, I'd be happy to uh, answer them. But otherwise, thank you for the time on the program. We are happy to sponsor uh, uh, new tracks, and we are uh, happy to support your scholarship program. Anybody have any questions for David? Yeah, David, I have one. There was a question asked on chat. Where you get the uh, drives? I guess is the Stanton drives that are going to be used on that. You you can use it. You can use a Stanton drive. Uh, I I I as an O scaler tend to be skeptical of those little, uh, you know, the little underfloor mechanisms. But uh, there was an earlier mention of All Nation. All Nation is a storied brand in O scale two rail, uh, and under. Uh, uh, the new owner, they have put out a lot of new products and are putting a lot of effort into it. And he has a drive from the original All Nation switcher that is going to be adapted to the uh, to the Lima switcher. So we think it's going to be a good solid drive. You can use the underfloor power units if if you want to. Uh, we like to be able to make street lights dim when we turn the throttle up on O scale engines. Uh, that's hard with one of those little teaspoon uh, power units. Uh, so we're, I, I'm a I'm a uh, proponent of the uh, of the big ones. All Nation makes a very good solid drive. So where do we go to get that shell? Do you have a site? Yeah, uh, Lambert Locomotive Works dot uh, com, I believe. And if for some reason that doesn't work and you're interested, follow up with me, go on the O-Scale Central website, 
and look for the contact us part and it'll say president at oscale uh, uh, central uh, click on it send me a message and i will get back to you with the contact information if lambert locomotive works.com doesn't work thank you very much david thank you